Hey YouTube, this is Fixin' Junk here, and uh, this is a project update on my Cummins conversion. And I ran into some issues with uh, the motor, for whatever reason, once I got it in the truck. It was spewing out white smoke, and was missing, and uh, it just ran like crap, and had no power. So I uh, did some research. Did a little on YouTube, didn't find too much except one fella. Um, but he, his info wasn't really right. And I went on uh, Industrial Oregon, or I think it's called Oregon, Oregon uh, Injection.com or something like that. And I found the diagnostics for 5.9 Cummins in a Dodge, which is specific here. <clears throat> And especially the P7100 pump requires a spec uh, specific amount of uh, fuel pressure. And you're going to need a oil pressure gauge here. This is for uh, engines and transmissions. You're going to need a vice grip with some rubber covers here. You're going to have to either make an adapter to fit in the bleeder bolt on top of the fuel filter housing or if you follow that line that comes off right there and comes around the injection pump that's your other feed line this is really a better place to do it but um, they do make a kit from Torque Tech I think that has a eighth inch pipe thread on it and actually you can see here I'm leaking a little bit of fuel which, which ain't good for whatever reason, uh, the problem seemed to fix itself. But when you're looking at the diagnostic sheet here, uh, <laughs> unfortunately, my ink ran out. But uh, for Miss Blue White Smoke, first thing to check is your fuel galley pressure. And to check your fuel galley pressure, um, which would be your fuel pump, it's going to be 20 PSI at idle and 25 PSI at 2500 RPM. And those are minimum values. Alright, if it's low, uh, overflow valve, which is up here, which I believe is set at 31 PSI. And if, uh, depending on your issue, you got to keep going down the list and find out what's wrong. Now, I thought I had a fuel restriction, but uh, not anymore. So let me start up the truck and show you what the reading is supposed to look like, because that seems to be a very confusing issue where uh, I'm going to remove the vice grips are removed right now. Actually, I'm tight. It's going to be really hard to hear me, but what's going to happen is the needle's going to fluctuate rapidly and you can't get a reading but that's what you need the vice grips for and it'll tell you your pressure after you you set that you're gonna have to set it tight and then you're gonna have to slowly release it till you get a steady reading As you can see, if you can hear me, fluctuates pretty good.
that's how you read your fuel pressure. Obviously, mine read bad right there. Um, for seems as though the more I run the truck, the better my fuel pressure gets. Which I don't know what the why it does that, but I do have a leak here now. Before I didn't have a leak, so I gotta fix that. So, hey, well, guys, thanks for watching. I hope I uh, helped you out. If you got any questions, want me to do another crummy demonstration? <laughs> Just let me know.